I work with a lot of soccer players, a lot of basketball players, and a lot of hockey players. And okay. I've had the hockey players the longest. Yeah. And so what I'm doing with them right now is we're kind of just ramping up the end of our cycle as they lead into their season. And yep. we've been kind of playing around with um, their sort of, I guess, like like similar to the basketball thing, like the work capacity and their ability to kind of like keep up that that pace and that change of direction yep and i i read a um um i was gonna go grab the book i'll grab it but i'm blanking on the name but they were getting like really really jiggy with their like times and yeah and they were like you know like seven seconds on 13 seconds off 12 times with three minutes rest and you do that like seven times and and so right. like when i think about like a bath basketball or soccer like I just look at how can I you know linear I, I, I progress linear progress their uh, work capacity like how does that look I mean you don't obviously start out at like a hundred you know sideline to sidelines or right. or do you I mean are you I don't know I mean I don't know how much you want to share but like do you yeah. is, it, is it just like sideline to sideline you know and then it's like Week two is another rep. Week three is another. Week four is another. You know, it can be. Um, so generally what you're going to see is, there, okay, so I'll give you some like kind of like guiding principles and then I'll try and give you some specifics too, right? So in general, we're always moving general to specific. So like to start an off season off, like I'm just trying to build general quality. So maybe it's um, tempo squats to build a little bit bigger slow twitch fiber. Maybe we're going to do some explosive work, like alactic power work, just to build a bigger engine. Um, but you're familiar with kind of how I talk about the V, right? If we're thinking of the energy system continuum, if we've got purely alactic over here and then purely like extensive aerobic work, like those two are kind of compatible, right? And then we just work our way in throughout the course of the off season. So, you know, we're going to start with stuff like that um, as we get into more of like a block or as we get into like a block two, now we're getting into, okay, we're definitely going to do uh, what I would call explosive repeats. Okay. So starting to cut into that, they're not getting full rest anymore. Maybe it's five, six seconds. So we're staying in that alactic zone, but we're starting to cut into their rest periods. Okay. So we're starting to do that. Um, you know, there's probably going to be a, a more extensive day in there. Okay. So, like let's say on day one, we're doing a prowler sprint and it's six seconds on and it's week one, it's 60 seconds off and week two, it's 54 and week three, it's 48, right? So we're just, it's one to 10, it's one to nine, it's one to eight, it's one to seven. So we're tightening it up there, right? So I may have a day like that. And then the second day may be more of what I consider just a pure capacity day. Okay. So let's say that day we're going to go six, Six seconds on, 60 seconds off. So it's one to 10. We're going to do 10 rounds of that. Well, then in week two, we're going to do 10 rounds and then we're going to take a five minute break and then we're going to do five. And then repeat that again. And then on week four, we're going to go same work to rest, six on, 60 off, right? But we're going to go 10 rounds, five minute break, 10, 10 rounds. So you see how we're building that endurance? So like we're kind of building, on one day we're building that ability to truly repeat sprint on less and less rest. So you're trying to maintain the power and the output with less and less rest. And on the other day, you're just trying to increase volume over the course of, you know, the next four to six. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I'll play around with that. And then the big thing is, and I always think in about three, in, in three blocks in a, in a macro cycle or whatever you want to call it, um, and that last block is very, it, we're getting close to lactic, if not touching lactic for sure, um, just to expose them to it. But one thing that I, I think is really important here is it has to be more tissue specific, right? And I hate the term sports specific, but it's gotta be more, more sports specific in that realm too. So if we're pushing a prowler that month, month three, we're gonna do like a lot more change of direction. And that sort of thing. So like for my soccer guys, I'll generally have three days. I'll do uh, a 10 yard shuttle day, right? 
And you got to think, a 10-yard shuttle, they should be getting four or five turns. Okay, so more change of direction, more decelerations, more accelerations, right? And maybe that day is like 10 on, 40 off to start. And then we start cutting into that rest period. Another day may be what I call a long shuttle day. So that's like a 25 yard sprint. And that just works well here in our space. I mean, you can see this is all the turf, turf we have. But that day is gonna be more of like a, like a high end aerobic power. So it's like say 10 on, 20 seconds off or 15 on, 15 off. And we may only do six to eight rounds of that because we know by then they're you know, either at the max of their aerobic power or they're touching on some anaerobic qualities. So, or like yeah. glycolytic qualities. So maybe we'll do eight rounds and we'll take a five minute break and then we'll do four to eight more. Okay. So that's kind of the way that I'm laying it out over the course of the off season. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Like that's the art of it, right? It's like, how do you smooth those transitions? And so yeah. that's, that's where the real money's made. It's like when it's real herky jerky, that's when people start feeling beat up or they start having like little injuries and aches and pains. So I think the smoother you can make block and you can smooth those transitions, the better your athletes are going to 